In this presentation, we will create a custom income statement within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the home page. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown and selecting the open windows list. We're going to create a custom income statement. And as you may know, the income statement within QuickBooks is called a profit and loss. So one of the major things we'll do is changing the name of the profit and loss to an income statement for those customers or clients or employers who may prefer that terminology. So that's what we'll do. And we'll also make some other adjustments to the standard profit and loss report. So we'll start off with the standard profit and loss report by going to the reports drop down up top. We're going to go to the company and financials and be selecting the profit and loss standard. Profit and loss standard. We're going to change the dates then by going to 010119 to 123119. That's January 1st, 2019 to December 31st, 2019. And we can see here that our major differences here is we've got the profit and loss versus the income statement. And then we've got January through December. And sometimes a lot of terminology might be just for the year ended, December 31st, 2019. So those are two changes that we may want to put in place just to make those feel more comfortable who are more used to that type of terminology. And this is just a type of thing that we can do that could make us look a little bit better depending on who we are dealing with. Some people just might like that more. So if we, if we know who we're dealing with, if an auditor or a client asked us for an income statement, and they're used to you can you know you could sense that they're more used to just a traditional type of uh, terminology on an income statement and not the quickbooks terminology then uh, we can easily make that adjustment and make it make everything as nice as possible so we will do that we're also going to remove the dates and times over here and we're going to remove the pennies so we don't really need pennies most of our stuff has zeros and adding the cents is often something that um, isn't necessary we don't really need uh, the sense in the documents. We could also put brackets on our numbers, which is a common type of formatting item. So that's what we'll do. We're going to find most of that stuff in the customize reports up top. So we're going to go to customize reports. Then we're going to go to the headers and footers. And we're going to make some changes. The company name we'll keep. We'll change the report title to the income statement. There we have that. Now we're going to change the subtitle. Instead of January through December, we're going to say for the year ended. So that'll look something like this. I changed the name for the year ended December 31st, 2019. Then we're going to re remove the date, time, and basis. So I'm just going to unclick the date, time, and the report basis. And let's see what we have so far. We're going to say OK. And there's what we have so far. It looks good. It's not cleaner over here. We've got the income statement, which might make some people a little bit more happy with that type of formatting. And we've got for the year ended December 31st, which again, is probably something that uh, many people are more used to when they're outside of QuickBooks. Now we'll go back in, we'll remove the pennies and we're going to add a custom footer. So we're going to go to the customized reports once again, we're going to go to the headers and footers. And we'll add the customized footer and we're just going to add our name down in the footer. Then we'll go to the fonts and numbers tab, fonts and numbers. And within the fonts and numbers, everything's pretty standardized, but we want to get rid of the pennies. So I don't need the pennies here. So every time all these pennies, that'll make it look a little bit cleaner. And some people will like to have the parentheses. So rather than a negative number, let's put the parentheses. And we may even want to put it in red, in bright red here. So we'll check off the bright red. So anytime there's a negative number, we'll, we'll have a negative with brackets. And this would be, for example, on the income statement when there's a loss. So that'll, that'll uh, pop for us and we'll be able to see that loss a little bit uh, better. Again, normally the brackets are pretty standardized rather than a, a subtraction. Brackets are very common, possibly even more common than, than a subtraction on the financial statements. The red, not so much but it might be useful depending on the type of client. So someone, some people might think the red's a little bit too much. Some people probably re prefer the red. So we'll say, okay. And then we have our information here. The pennies are gone and we've got the red for the negative numbers, which can be useful. 
In order to see the headers and footers, or the footer that we put on here with our name, we got to go to the preview. We can do that by going to the print item up top and going to the print report. And we'll get the print item here, and then we'll see this little preview, and then we'll check off the preview. And then the footer will be down here. If we zoom in, we'll have that custom footer. So that's going to be that item. I'm going to close that out. going to close this out. Next thing we're going to do is memorize this report so that we don't have to change the name and put the footer in there and change this information. So we're going to go ahead and memorize. And we'll put that into our custom group that we set up in the prior presentation. If you don't have it set up, you could put it to the default here. We're going to put it to our name. And yours is going to be in alphabetical order here. I'm going to put it into Smith as the name. And we're going to say, OK. So if we want to find that report now, we can always go to the reports drop down. We can go to memorize reports or memorized reports, go down to Smith, and there's the income statement. So income statement is probably enough to memorize the report because we've kind of defaulted it to a standard income statement. If we want to put something different than that, we could call it a custom income statement to give it some more differentiation from the normal profit and loss. But the fact that we just named it income statement as opposed to the profit and loss is what we will keep here as the differentiation. Now we're going to go ahead and export it and print it as a PDF file and look at the different ways as we compile these reports that we can see them, store them, and then possibly give them to others, whether they be clients, whether they be our supervisors, our, our employers, or whether they be in a course. So we're going to say ex Excel, create new Excel worksheet. And then we're going to put this into an existing workbook that we set up in a prior presentation. So existing workbook. We will then browse for that workbook. It's going to be on the desktop. So it's here. It's on the desktop. Get great guitars in reports. Section 3 reports. Now I'm just going to double click on this section 3 reports. It's going to open up. It's going to open a new tab. Once I hit export, it'll open up. It'll open a new tab. And I'll put the income statement in that new tab. Here we have it. So here's the new sheet. It's in between the other two. So I would uh, left click on it and drag it to the right. So we'll drag it to the right. And then we're going to double click on it. And this I'm just going to call an income statement. Something like that. And then we'll get rid of these split panes by going to the view tab up top. Going to the windows group and selecting the split item to remove the split. I would typically then check out the second page layout view to make sure it's all laid out as we would want it and the income statement is in the header. Then go back to the normal view and that looks good. So we could save it as is. I'm going to delete this first tab, right click and delete it. And just note now that we have two items in here, we've got the P&L and the income statement. We probably wouldn't send both of these because we would send one or the other, whichever, whichever format would be preferable by the person receiving it. If we're working with someone that works with QuickBooks a lot, they probably really prefer P&L because that's what they're used to seeing. If we're working with someone that does not work with QuickBooks a lot, they probably would really prefer not to see the P&L and have an income statement because we don't want we don't want to have any confusion, especially about the basic reports because it can be people could actually have not want to ask about such a basic report like the income statement. Like, is this the same report? That It'd be best just to eliminate the confusion as easy as much as possible. But if we did want to send these two at the same time, we could then go to the file tab up top and we can go to the print option and then print them the entire workbook and then print it to the cat, that cute PDF printer or any kind of PDF printer. And that'll be a way that we can put these two items on one PDF file instead of having the two PDF files. So just keep that in mind as we go. How are we going to sort this stuff? How are we going to give this stuff to whoever we are sorting and giving it to? Even if it is ourselves, how do we want to store this information once we generate reports? So we'll close this out and save this. And then, of course, the other way we could do this is to save it as a PDF or email it here. I'm going to save it as a PDF to show the other major option. We could save it as a PDF here or print it with the cute PDF printer, which I prefer to do. And so I'm going to go report and then print to that cute PDF printer once again and print that item. And then we'll browse to see where it wants to go. I think it's going to the right place already, which is nice, but I like to double check here so I don't have random stuff on the computer. So it's going to be get great guitars report section three. 
And then we're going to say it's the income statement. Statement. And, and we would want the date here as we go through here, but I'm just going to label it as if it was a, a book problem. Just to show that, notice we're having, we're building up two files here. If we were to give this to someone, we would need two attachments or we'd need to zip the file. Uh, or if we wanted to give it as one file, we can give that Excel file or we can use Excel to generate one PDF file with two forms in it. So we'll save that and that's going to be the custom income statement. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.